folks, thanks for joining us today. My name is John Dubas with Premier Marketing, and we'll be spending the next 50 minutes or so discussing Medicare Advantage programs that can make a difference to your customers now. I know it's kind of a trite title, but what we're looking to do here is feature one of our favorite partners, um, formerly the artist formerly known as Anthem, Alavance, and we will discuss some of the things that they offer in their MA programs that are of a particular appeal to our target audience and how that can become a impetus for you to sell now with their programs. We have a lot of talk right now about different uh, certifications, which of course we need to abide by and, and take care of, but we still have a number of effective dates before the end of the year and we need to take care of people now and that includes ourselves and our agencies. So today's presentation is being recorded and it will be made available on our website at premiersmi.com and on our YouTube channel as well. So watch for that uh, coming up as soon as the recording uploads. You'll have in the software system for today's presentation a section for both questions and chat. We ask that you put your questions in the question section. We find that we do cover that through the course of the presentation, the bulk of those normally, uh, but we wanna make certain that we get you the detail you need to get full value out of the time you invest with us here today. So with that said, I recognize many of the names on the attendee list. I thank you for coming on with us today. I do, however, wanna make certain that we have a level set as to, well, who is Premier? Premier is a national marketing organization founded in 1968. That's part of the Integrity Marketing Platform with offices across the country. We're licensed in all 50 states, acting as an insurance wholesaler, working with independent insurance agents such as you. And we do so through contracts that are at the highest possible commission levels with recruiting contracts available to those who qualify. And we do so through a full portfolio of products. So we have the base Medicare programs, the Medicare Advantage, Medicare Supplement, and Part D prescription drug programs, which are part and parcel of today's guest offering, but we also offer a full portfolio of life insurance and annuity products, final expense life insurance and pre-need plans, long and short-term care programs, disability income plans, and ancillary benefit programs for dental vision hearing, critical illness cancer plans, hospital indemnity and accident plans, and even a telehealth program available to you through our organization. When we look at the Medicare Advantage plans, it has the national carriers in there for you, along with some of the strong regionals that will make a difference for you in your market. And that same philosophy carries over into the prescription drug arena where the national carriers are there for you as well. These are regular Medicare Part D programs with a couple of exceptions. Well, one's not an exception about that, so to speak. It's Mutual of Omaha, which has a prescription drug plan separate from any of their other contracts. The Clever RX is actually a discount program that's of value in certain circumstances as well, but it is not a Part D prescription drug plan. When we look at Medicare supplements, we have a broad array of offerings there as well. Uh, we wanna make certain we address the needs of the entire Medicare population, regardless of their income or health circumstances or whatever else makes a difference to them when they come to decide their basic health coverages. We do have marketing programs that help you be successful in this space as well. When we look at ancillary products in each of the categories, the national leaders are there for you. They not only serve the needs of you and your prospects and clients covering specific needs, but they give us another marketing opportunity and of course, another revenue stream for our agencies as well. So looking at the Medicare market specifically, we see a number of startling statistics. Uh, you, don't come on a presentation like today without hearing of the aging of the baby boomers, the silver tsunami, one every 10 seconds, 10,000 plus a day. I don't mean to sound a little worn out by that, but it's in there exponential growth in this segment of our population. And we are finding, however, that a portion of the folks that become eligible for Medicare at age 65 aren't accessing all of their benefits for one reason or another. Some may continue to be employed for whatever reason prompts that action uh, or whatever reason it happens to be. It shaves that number down just a little bit, but there is a 
more than make up factor, so to speak, with the folks that are under the age of 65 accessing Medicare benefits because of disability. And what we have with a lot of the different insurance programs, they are a target for a lot of our marketing activity as well. A lot of times it's a question of locating them and making certain that we can accommodate their needs because in many cases, the Medicare Advantage programs are of great value to them. And then of course, they have medication use we wanna accommodate as well. When folks come on Medicare, they got a number of choices. They can decline the optional Part B should they choose to do so. Some do because they're continuing to work. Um, some do because, well, whatever reason they choose to do, but some will actually take A and B, traditional coverage, and just add for the Part D programs for uh, medication coverage. Some will cover some of the shortfall in the medical coverage through standardized, modernized Medicare supplements, or as they say on the endless commercials nowadays, they'll go in an all-in-one bundled program, a Medicare Part C plan, a Medicare Advantage plan. In each of these choices, we want to have the programs in play that can accommodate their solutions. And so we reach out to partners such as our featured folks today to make certain that we have programs to address these needs across the board. And we also wanna make certain that we are communicating with them in a language they understand. Now that might sound a wee bit funny, but there are so many acronyms in our business. This screenshot from a, a while ago on a CMS website, well, it's showing 4,420 acronyms. Sometimes we get caught up in the use of acronyms and we assume people understand what they mean. That doesn't always work that way. We wanna make certain that we take care of them. This is a great way to be able to properly communicate. And it reminds us as salespeople to either define our use as we go through with these acronym usage in our presentations or avoid them as much as possible. Whatever we wanna do, we wanna communicate properly. And that includes taking care of the different election periods that people on Medicare are subject to. We have at this point in time, a, a ton of information out there on certifications for 2023 for agents, some sneak previews coming up. Um, whatever it happens to be, however, we wanna be able to accommodate uh, the proper and compliant way of enrolling people in different programs. And that includes taking into account the different special election periods, an SEP acronym I have to force myself to define as well. But in each of these categories, we find the majority of people on Medicare will qualify for one or another. And if not else, there's the special, special election periods. But we wanna make certain then that we have the knowledge of the offerings that are available now, as uh, we need to take care of people through the end of the year, but it gives us then that opportunity to make certain that we address needs and function as a sales organization throughout the remainder of the year. And we do so, with special eyes on those exceptions because the majority of people on Medicare aren't comparing their plans year over year during the open enrollment period, regardless of their base coverage. And so we need to make certain, once again, the information we have can help people ascertain whether or not a change at this time is to their benefit and to their best interest. And so we wanna do that because well, a lot of the folks that are subject to this are certain particularly vulnerable groups, and we wanna make certain that we do what we need to do to make certain they are in the plans that benefit the most. And a lot of times that deals with medication coverages. So when we run across that segment of folks that have chosen to either self-insure for the medical portion of it or pick up a med sup and need a standalone Part D drug, well, they're not comparing plans either. And we all know as active folks in this market, there can be a huge difference year over year as to the cost of medications in the, the coverage for prescriptions, either on a standalone program, on a Part D plan, or the medication benefits that are embedded in the uh, coverage itself. Once again, we need to take care of it because the population's not using the government sources, whatever they are, for the source of information. And there's a ton of them out there. And we wanna make certain then that we can deliver the information they need to make a decision in the manner they wanna receive it. 
So we partner with organizations that have electronic capabilities. We provide some of them ourselves, and that way we can make certain if we need to pivot back and forth, which many times we do, between an in-person or a virtual presentation, we have the technology to do so because the population is comfortable, much more comfortable now, receiving that information in that manner. If you think about it, for over a year, those of us that had doctor's appointments during the height of the pandemic, it was virtually done. Be it doctors, specialists, a lot of the prep work for hospitals and dentists, or even parts of our life that define who we are, our celebrations of faith were all done online or virtually. And so the population we work with is much more open to receiving information in this manner, and in many cases prefer it. But let's make certain that we take care of them. So all that said and done, what we've done is ask the uh, feature partner today, our friends over at Alavance, Josh Manning, to come on and visit with us about some key things that make uh, working with this organization a bit different or a preferred partner for you as well in order to make certain that you have the programs you need to accommodate the needs of your prospects and clients. So at this point in time, I'm going to turn control over to Josh and welcome him to the presentation. John. There we go. Okay. I think I am unmuted. Can everybody hear me, John? Can you hear me okay? Yep. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. All right. No, thanks so much, John. I appreciate that. And sorry for the uh, for the snafu here. Please don't uh, judge my uh, ability to provide a, a good presentation on my ability or inability to uh, kick it off. <laughs> so, <laughs> so thanks We're so good. much here, John. Um, hey, everybody, thanks for joining today. Uh, and for those listening uh, from afar or from uh, re the recording, my name is Josh Manning, National Sales Director here with, with um, I almost said Anthem Incorporated. We are now Elevance Health. So I'm gonna talk about that transition here in just a moment, um, uh, as well as talk about, uh, you know, just a snapshot of our portfolio or membership, as well as our MA strategy for 2023. I'm not gonna get deep into the weeds of the strategy. It's still early, it's still July. Our, our bids are still being reviewed by CMS, so nothing is final. Everything is confidential, of course. Um, but wanted to make sure that I gave you kind of a quick quick peek at what, we, what we're planning for 2023, but also just a, a reminder, as John said, you know, we're still selling now, right? We still have several months in the year uh, to really make an impact on, 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 on growth uh, this, um, this uh, lock-in uh, period. So uh, we'll talk about a little bit of, of, of some of the things that make us as successful as we have in this year. We've had a record, uh, a record growth year this, this past uh, uh, AEP in this past year. Um, uh, because of working with agents and, and agencies and brokers like yourselves. Uh, I'm going to go over some high-level uh, uh, benefits for 2023, uh, as well as reminders about certification and what we accept here at Elevance Health. I'm uh, going to dive into some of the, um, the new updates we've made to Broker Plus app, uh, and as well as the producer toolbox, so you may or may not be aware of some of our uh, ele electronic tools. So I'm going to touch upon that really really cool updates here, uh, as well as uh, you know just a reminder of the ground game that we have here at Elevance Health to help you uh, at the ground level, local level. We've got uh, an army of 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 of, of uh, broker sales managers, regional sales managers, you name it. We've got the help there for you in your local area, uh, wherever you need it. So June 28th, June 28th was a was a was a Historic year for us. Anthem Incorporated became Elevance Health on June 28, 2022. Now, before I cover this this huge, great change, I need to be very, very clear. There are no impacts for 2023 to our Medicare selling brands. I repeat, there will, are no impacts for 2023 to our Medicare selling brands. So whether you're selling in Ohio or Missouri, we're going to be Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield there as we are today. Uh, if, you're, if you're selling in Texas, we're going to be Amerigroup. If you're selling in Tennessee, Amerigroup, California, Anthem Blue Cross, New York, Emblem, uh, I'm sorry, Empire Blue Cross and Blue Shield. So no impact to the selling go-to brands in the marketplace for this selling season for 2023. We certainly do have a strategy um, where we will help to uh, make things easier uh, 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 for our, our national and our local selling brands here for 2024 and beyond. But uh, uh, just a reminder, no changes to the selling brands for 2023. Um, now, um, who are we, right? So who 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 is Elevant South? We are still addressing whole health and the physical, behavioral, and social drivers that impact uh, it 
we're reimagining the way we operate. So we're looking at being as easy as possible to do business with uh, from the broker member, uh, from the broker and the member's perspective. And we're pursuing a progressive healthcare system, right? We have evolved to offer diverse products and services. We have invested to address a consumer's full range of needs with an integrated whole person approach to healthcare. And we've grown. So our, we, our company has grown to nine, over 90,000 associates uh, working with 600 national employers. We've got over 1.1 million care providers and alliance partners that we, that we work with, as well as 118 million health plan consumers, health plan lives, 118 million lives that we, that we, that we, that we touch uh, daily. And we will continue to serve people across the entire care journey. We'll simplify the care journey and make health equitable and accessible. And we'll evolve our brand portfolio in the future to reflect the strategy and to reduce complexity. So again, Anthem Incorporated yesterday, we're Elevance Health today. And I will probably slip up and say Anthem Incorporated. I think I've got like a six month buffer before I start getting in trouble. So uh, <laughs> um, no, I, I digress, but uh, Elevance Health uh, is here and uh, we're here to elevate and advance healthcare for all of our consumers. Now, as I mentioned, Elevance Health is a leading health company dedicated to improving lives and communities and making healthcare simpler. Now, through our affiliated companies, Elevance Health, as I mentioned, serves approximately 118 million lives, including nearly 47 million medical members within its family of health plans. Some of the Medicare, Medicare eligible members on our large commercial book are a good opportunity uh, to, to transition to one of our strong Medicare products. Um, and, and you'll learn more about this in specific markets, but I'll just speak um, uh, specifically about Georgia. Georgia, we have over 50% market share of, of, of the commercial space. So thinking of transitioning the, the, the membership uh, from under 65 to Medicare in Georgia, huge opportunity. Um, delivering health beyond healthcare, Elevance Health is expanding from being a partner in health benefits to a lifetime trusted health partner. We market and sell Medicare plans in 24 markets, 23 states, including the, uh, Puerto Rico. We have the second largest Medicaid membership nationally and have 25 locations with Medicaid presence. So think about that. When you think about the large commercial presence on employer coverage, as well as the Medicaid membership, tremendous opportunity for anyone that's looking to add, uh, uh, you know, uh, Elevance Health uh, portfolio uh, to, their, to their portfolio mix to sell. Now, again, we are one of the market leaders here in Medicare and Medicaid, and with a strong MA and Med sub membership. You know, we talk a lot about MA, of course, that's 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 where a lot of the focus goes this time of year with AEP prep, but we've got strong Med sub uh, products as well. We've got 1.7 million individual sold MA members and over 900,000 individual sold Med sub members. Combined, this is over 2.6 million Medicare medical members sold to individuals. Our MA membership has doubled in the past five years. Additionally, we have exceeded the market growth rate for six consecutive AEPs in our service area. So we've grown faster than the market uh, in, in, on the MA side of things in the, in the, for the last six years. And with your help, we're going to make it a seven. We offer MA plans in 24 markets, in 23 states and the territory of Puerto Rico, and MedSup plans in 16 states. We are the DSNP industry growth leader over the last six years with a 30% compounded annual growth rate and we have the second highest DSHIP membership in our service area. As I mentioned earlier, we are the second largest Medicaid company in the country. Our 2023 MA bid will further solidify this. Now, um, as I said, we've grown faster than the market in our service area for the last six consecutive AEPs, and our improved value proposition for 2023 will only help to accelerate that growth. Our partnership with agencies like Premier um, uh, has really helped us deliver those results, and we appreciate and thank you for that. And not just Premier, but any anyone that picks up the phone and, and, and sells the Anthem Medicare. See, I did it again. Anthem Incorporated, <laughs> Elevance Health, a Medicare portfolio. Now, we continue our strong investments with our 2023 bid to strategically help improve our value prop based on consumer preferences, as well as feedback from our brokers. So we'll talk about that more in just a moment. But in 2023, a little, little bit of, a, of, of what, our, what our strategy is for this upcoming AEP season. Again, nothing has been finalized and final, you know, uh, approved by CMS. So, um, you know, everything is kept confidential here. Now, in 2023, we are bringing MA plans to 145 counties where we had not had MA before, doubling our expansion efforts from last year. We're building on the success of last year's PPO growth. We're launching new PPO products in three states where we have not had a PPO before, namely Arizona, Tennessee, and Florida. Now, nationally, we're expanding into 200, 
10 counties with PPO plans for the first time ever. We're continuing our emphasis on medication affordability and access, and we've expanded our insulin savings program. This is where, you know, $35 copay, no, you know, um, a maximum for select insulins. To more plans and all DSNIP plans nationwide will have no cost sharing for all Part D. So let me repeat that. We're expanding our insulin savings programs to, to more plans outside of just our, our CSNIP plans and select markets to more and more plans for 2023, as well as zero cost sh uh, sharing for all Part D drug tiers on our DSNIP plans nationwide. Really excited about that. Now, in response to consumer demand, dental benefits are core to our offerings. And in 2023, we have worked to improve dental benefit coverage, allowance amounts, and network access. John talked about the depth research and how dental was at the forefront of, of the consumer preferences. And we're looking to, to, to capitalize on that and make sure that we give the consumers what they want. And that's increased dental. Now, as benefits focus on um, SDOH, which is called social determinants of health, have become more prevalent, so, ha so has the complexity of these solutions. So in 2023, we are focused on simplification by introducing a single convenient card um, for grocery, OTC, and all flex accounts. So current day, we'll talk a little bit about this in just a second, but currently we have a, a separate ID card or a separate benefits card for every benefit. So you get an OTC benefit card, you get a, uh, you get a, um, uh, you know, flex dental vision hearing card. Uh, you get a card for um, grocery, etc. We are combining these in all in one a card for next year on a on a proven Mastercard platform. So currently this year we're on a a, a proprietary uh, a vendor benefit program, um, and and there's been some challenges. Uh, but next year we're moving to a, a Master Mastercard platform, which is going to help to simplify and 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 make the 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 process of utilizing that at the local markets and OTC catalogs over the phone, on internet, et cetera, much, much easier. Now select plans will have available a new flex account allowance for utilities and telecom payments. Talk more about that in just a moment, but really excited for that. And a few markets, uh, namely Florida, will see a new flex account for active fitness, providing an allowance for fitness programs such as golf, swimming, and tennis. Um, and so no, John, I know your, I know your question. Cornhole and bocce ball are not included, but maybe for 2024, we'll see. Um, but no, really excited about that for, for select key markets. Now in key markets, we are com now combining the OTC and, and healthy groceries benefit into a shared monthly allowance. This is gonna be specific to the central region. So think Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana, uh, Wisconsin, Missouri, Tennessee, uh, Louisiana. This is gonna be a combined benefit uh, in one purse, if you will. Additionally, more plans are offering our popular healthy groceries and flex account for dental, vision, and hearing benefits, and our essential extras are expanding to more states and more plans. Talk more about that in just a moment. Now, lastly, we're really excited about our strength and partnerships. So key network additions have helped expand our reach in key markets. You know, there's been network adequacy issues in certain parts of the country and certain markets, um, but we've solidified those. Uh, we've contracted with big partners here, um, namely in Wisconsin. Uh, beginning August 1st, we have um, uh, uh, contracted with um, a Mayo Clinic. So Mayo Clinic is going to be in our HMO network. Uh, so, so the facilities in, in Wisconsin of the Mayo Clinic are going to be in our H HMO network, as well as the Mayo Clinic in um, Minnesota. So the Minnesota facilities are going to be in our PPO network. So really excited about that. And we're expanding in Wisconsin. Uh, due to those uh, network additions. So really excited about uh, what, what things we're going to do for Wisconsin, but also having Mayo Clinic in our back pocket as in terms of a network perspective on both our PPO and our HMO um, is really a, a win for anybody selling anywhere, especially in the central region and the East Coast where they really you know, re, you know, know that Mayo Clinic is a well-known facility. Now, on-site staff, on -site staffing by agents will continue exclusively in designated Kroger stores, servicing the highest number of decent members. And our Kroger decent plans will continue to offer optimal grocery and OTC card benefits. Conversely, non decent Kroger plans will see a reduction in the grocery and OTC card benefits in order for us to allow more focus and resources to our decent population. So more about that here as we roll out, roll out our plan benefits and in, in coming up upcoming roadshows and virtual <clears throat> sessions. Now, I want to just, you know, level set, right? Of course, gave you a quick highlight of 2023, and there's going to be a lot more details to come, right, uh, on our strategy for 2023, both nationally and in the local markets. But, you know, people, we're still selling now, right? We still have how many months left? Five, six months left to go to sell, 
this this year. So it's very important that we remind ourselves of of, of some of the benefits that are uh, key to our growth uh, this past. Uh, this past year, we've had a record growth in the broker channel uh, at Elevant South this past year, and a large part is due to the fact that we've been one of the forefront, uh, you know, the the founding, I guess, uh, uh, carriers to um, really address the social determinants of health benefit, uh, not just through our uh, supplemental benefits, like our o OTC uh, uh, benefit, which is on most of our plans and has been for several years, but our essential everyday extras. So there are essential extras in our blue states, everyday extras is what they're called in our Amerigroup states such as uh, Texas, Tennessee, uh, et cetera. So these benefits here, I've highlighted a few of those because we are um, re retaining some of these benefits for 2023. I'll talk about what we're doing in terms of a simplification uh, perspective uh, to make things easier to do business with um, from a member and broker perspective. But these are still great benefits that beneficiaries can use uh, this year. Assistive devices, um, you know, a $500 hour uh, 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 annual allowance towards those devices, such as um, you know items that help you get in and out of the bathtub, the, the bathroom, the toilet, et cetera. A health and fitness tracker, um, healthy meals, um, personal home helper, where you get personal care at the house, pest control, um, transportation, the flex account with the dental and vision and hearing, the grocery card, also known as healthy groceries, and the in-home support known as Papa Pals. Now, I won't get into the weeds of these details and of, the, of these benefits here. I do want to call out the ones that are bolded here uh, are the ones that are going to be carried over to next year. So for next year, um, these uh, benefits will still continue, uh, but the ones not highlighted, so the healthy meals, personal home helper, and pest control are ones that we have uh, are going to be removing as a benefit option for next year. And that's just because they, they, they weren't widely utilized as well as um, um, there, there were, you know, has some, some challenges to utilize them because of uh, the prior approval on some of these plans. So I'll get into that in just a moment, but I, I do want to make sure everyone sees the prior approval section here where it says no, no, and then SSBCI. So as it relates to those benefits, um, and, and real quick, before I get ahead of myself, let me just call out the health and fitness tracker. This is bolded and is underlined. This is being removed as an essential extra option for 2023. However, in our central plans, where the majority of, uh, of, of plans are sold uh, at Elevance Health, the health and fitness tracker is going to be an embedded benefit on um, all of our plans in the central region. So Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana, Missouri, Wisconsin, uh, Tennessee, Louisiana, um, um, and Iowa. So embedded benefit on those plans. Now, you, you saw here the, the SSBCI and, and then the VBID, right? So SSBCI stands for sub Special Supplemental Benefits for the Chronically Ill. Uh, and what this is, this is how these two, these two methods are for filing are all these, these social determinants of health benefits. So in order to, to do so, they have to be filed one or the other way. Now, with the SSBCI, these are for non-SNP plans. So folks, so in order to qualify for a benefit that's, that has that prior approval labeled, they have to qualify. They have to qualify um, from health reasons. So they have to have one or two morbidity, uh, you know, comorbidities and medically complex chronic conditions um, where their doctor basically signs off to says, hey, you know what, they need this benefit, they qualify, you know, they, 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 they attest that they, um, you know, they, they need that, that service, right? These are on non-SNP plans, so they have to qualify. Now, the, the, the value-based insurance design, these are how benefits are filed for, for, for decent plans, so the special needs plans, and this is based on economic uh, situation. So because they uh, are, are, you know, they have Medicaid, they're, they're on a decent plan, they automatically qualify. So really, it's just a formality for, for those individuals to, to be eligible for the plan. So if, it's, if it says VBID and they're on a decent plan, they automatically qualify. It's just a formality that they, they, they request a benefit. On the SSBCI, those are non-SNP plan filings, and they have to qualify uh, medically. Now, moving on here, uh, I'm going to dig a, a little bit deeper into some of the, high, you know, some of the uh, overviews for 2023. So, you know, brokers and members spoke, we listened, right? So over the years, uh, brokers and members have provided consistent feedback that our social determinants of health offerings were strong, and they were the main reason why folks chose the plan. Network is already strong. Formulary is getting better. Drug coverage is, is, is getting better. Benefits are great, but um, sometimes the, 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 you know, it's kind of the, the, the law of having too many options, right? It's hard to pick one when you have so many to choose from, as well as some of them that need to be qualified for. It can make it a hard conversation at this point of sale when you're selling a benefit that they may not qualify for, right? So for that, we've, took, we've taken that feedback and we made some adjustments for 2023. 
So for 2023, we reduced the number of package variations uh, across our plans down to three different packages. Think of it as a low, medium, and high. Right now, in you know market to market, the options that 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 you have to choose for a member can can vary. So we've simplified that, made only three variations, uh, uh, and then we've um, down to three packages, but we've streamlined the benefits uh, by reducing the maximum number of options um, up from nine down to six. So fewer options will help reduce member and agent confusion, which will improve the experience for everybody. And we'll talk more about some of those details here in the next slide. So here are the benefits for 2023. These are, you can see the, uh, the Flex account is gonna be there as well. That's a new benefit for this year. So it's gonna continue for next year. Um, so that's the $500 allowance for dental, vision, and hearing. No pre-certification required. The in-home support, which is also known as Papa Pals. This is for social isolation. So this is when someone can come to their home and just have a conversation. They can play Battleship. They can play, uh, you know, Rummy, whatever the case is. They can they can play Cornhole or, or Bocce Ball, uh, uh, Mr. Dubas. So just FYI there. No pre-certification required there. Transportation, 61-way trips, no pre-certification. Assistive devices as well, no pre-certification. So the only pre-certification that's required from a from an SSBCI VBIT perspective are the two below you see here, the Flex account, which is the utilities, which is going to be namely on our on our um, our decent plans. So they're going to all automatically qualify by virtue of their income level, uh, as, and that's a $50 monthly uh, uh, allowance towards utilities, um, um, internet, phone service, you name it. A lot more details to come, but that's a that's a that's a new benefit for next year that we think is going to be a, a tremendous. Uh, lift, as well as the grocery card. So a $50 monthly grocery benefit, uh, they also have to qualify for. But again, if they have a decent plan, they're going to automatically qualify based on their income. And if they're not on a decent plan, and they choose that benefit as an essential extra, uh, then they have to qualify um, medically. Now, where the essential everyday extras are available, the member will have an option to pick one or pick two services based on the plan design. So namely in Texas, California, uh, we've got a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, areas where we, we have actually a pick two service. The majority of, of, our, of our states in central region and east region, east coast um, is a pick one, but those two markets here uh, in, in our western region is a pick two. So we're really, really excited for that benefit. I think it's gonna be one that's gonna, 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 gonna give us another record breaking year this upcoming AEP. The one big thing that we are super excited about as well is moving to a um, prepaid benefits card. So present day, we've got cards for every every benefit, right? OTC, boom, you get a card. Um, flex card, boom. You know, uh, groceries, you get another card. So to improve the member experience, we're changing our OTC and healthy groceries card vendor for 2023 to a proven MasterCard platform. We've had, you know, um, you know, issues that pop up here and there. So we want to, you know, we thought it was important to invest in in, in partnering with uh, this vendor who is, you know, who, who, who everyone knows MasterCard, right? So it makes the, the the process to get contracted with local retailers and providers much more easier when we know it's, you know, a proven MasterCard versus a proprietary system that they may or may not want to pay uh, to, to have access to, right? So doing this will allow us to move away from having multiple cards for OTC, groceries, flex accounts, assistive devices, et cetera. This has been confusing to members, took up extra wallet space, and really just resulted in an unfavorable mem member experience, which leads to an unfavorable broker experience. So members will be provided a single restricted spend benefit card for all of our carded benefits. The card will be a prepaid master card funded by the plan, which is familiar to both members and to retailers, again, like I said, and will improve the purchasing uh, experience and give them more purchasing power. Um, and we're going we're gonna, to um, have this supported by an onshore, so it's a call center base in Florida uh, that will be able to, uh, you know, if there's any, obviously we, we, we don't anticipate any issues coming, coming across, right? Uh, you know, we're going to have zero issues for 2023. Uh, <laughs> I kid, I kid. I'm joshing you, um, but I'm bump. Uh, but no, if there are issues, we've got a onshore call center based in Florida. Um, we do have some rollover support, uh, you know, uh, outside of uh, normal business hours that may be offshore, but the large majority will be onshore to help answer any questions that may or concerns that may come across by you using the card. But really excited about this proven MasterCard, this one card for multiple benefits uh, that we think the, the members are going to really, really, really enjoy. Um, just real quick. Hey, 
certification season is underway. And just a reminder that Elevance Health accepts both AHIP and, and NAHU uh, certifications. So um, um, make sure that you get those in now. I will just remind you too, that we do have um, um, uh, deals now where if you, if you get certified, um, you know, of course, license is appointed and certified in order to receive commissions. But if you get certified by, July, I believe it's July 31st, um, then, uh, and, and you have five or more sales, um, then you get entered into a, a, a drawing to win some, some, uh, some prizes. So just FYI there, you know, better, better to uh, certify now than wait, because you're going to be more prepared for the AEP selling season as well as, hey, you can win some prizes. That's always a good thing. Now, I do want to just highlight a couple things about our electronic systems here. So um, the Broker Plus app. So if you don't have the Broker Plus app right now, I would encourage you to go to your iPhone and download it. Uh, here, the Broker Plus app allows you uh, to um, use it to track applications and check RFIs, uh, which is a, you know, um, uh, 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 request for information if, for those that don't know what RFIs are. <laughs> Brokers can also locate clients' contact information, plan details, and locate their member ID card, as well as view their own commission statements. So a lot of a lot of great features that the Broker Plus app um, uh, has, as well as we just announced a, a new update to um, the, the producer toolbox, which is passwordless login. So it's a new security standard and contemporary experience for brokers to access secure digital content on the web without passwords. I just did it today, and it's pretty easy. So here it is. So basically, if you want to log into Producer Toolbox uh, on, on your computer, um, first go to the Producer, I'm sorry, go to the uh, Broker Plus app, log in. You'll see this pop-up box that, that will direct you to this section here where it says Enable Passwordless Login. Once that's enabled, you then just simply enter in your username in the Producer Toolbox login site, and you'll go to this site. It'll say, set of, set of the notification sent. Once it's sent, um, you pull it up on your phone, and this pop-up box over here in, in blue will come up saying, do you approve or deny the request? You hit approve and you're instantly logged in. So it's just, it makes it easier. you not having to type type in your, your your password each and every time. You know, it logs you out after, you know, just a few minutes, right? Because of, 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 of security issues or concern, concern, uh, security concerns. So it's a really uh, a neat feature. It makes it easier to access. Uh, and you know, accessing your producer toolbox login information is 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 good, and, and we want to promote that because there's a lot of good stuff that you can do within within the portal. So really excited about that. Lastly, we've got the support on the ground wherever you are. So whether you're in Ohio, Missouri, Texas, California, Tennessee, you name it, we've got local support there. So these are just a few names of of uh, some regional sales managers who are um, you know really subject matter experts. Uh, to Elevance Health and Medicare in general in each respective region, um, and uh, and reach out to your to your um, um, you know anyone under Premier that you work with to get you an updated list. Uh, you can reach out to myself as well, Joshua.Manning at ElevanceHealth.com uh, for an updated list. But these are the folks who can get you, get you what you need, whether it's co-op dollars, if there's opportunities there to to grow your book of business uh, with Elevance Health. Uh, whether it's just some some local you know subject matter expert in terms of producer toolbox help, maybe there's help with that. Maybe the in producer uh, submitting applications um, or what what have you. You name it, the help is there. Um, so please reach out um, if you need assistance in any way possible uh, to help us sell uh, Elevance Health plans. Um, that is it. I want to thank everybody for allowing me to join today. I know I was short on details, but I didn't want to spoil any of the, su the surprise with. Uh, uh, our broker roadshow is coming up. We're going to have a follow-up session with Premier and John here at the end of this month. Uh, and we we had them come to Savannah, Georgia here a few weeks ago to do a, a, just kind of an early look rollout. And we're excited to give more details as we hammer some of them out uh, in the next coming weeks, couple months. Um, and re just remember, we've got a lot of plans to offer now, not just our essential extra and everyday extra benefits are, are really, a, you know, th those are certainly some 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 strong uh, golden egg benefits that 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 is why members choose our plans. But there's so much more that comes to it, right? There's formulary, there's drug copays, there's network, all really strong uh, um, attributes to to coverage and plans uh, that we also have. Um, you've got MA only selling season right now as well. So if they have credible coverage, they have VA, they have Tricare, or Champ VA. You can sign them up for an MA only plan. We have several MA only plans available in the central region. 
for example, that offer a $50, $50 Part B buyback, and we're expanding that to, to more plans for, for 2023, as well as uh, Tennessee. Tennessee, we're offering, uh, you know, I think it's almost a statewide MA-only plan with a Part B buyback called the Courage Plan. So, again, a lot more details to come, a lot more early look and, and broader look for the 2023 selling season, and uh, we look forward to helping you service our members and grow your book of business. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Josh. I really appreciate it. I think getting additional details on those uh, specifics when it comes to the social determinant of health benefits, that really differentiates your organization from a lot of the competition out there. One question that popped up is you mentioned the detail that's available uh, to download on your iPhone. I'm assuming, and you know what happens when you assume, that that's available for Android smartphones as well? It is, and if I if if I reference iPhone, my apologies. It's just because I have an iPhone. But yes, and there there's a um, at the broker roadshows, or if you can just download it now, you can go go to your um, I think it's iPhone is the app store, Google it's the Android store or the, or the Google store, whatever. Um, sorry, I'm I'm, a, I'm an Apple guy, uh, unfortunately. But yes, it is available on on Andrew and Andrew Andrew <laughs> Android. Uh, smartphones. So any, you know, any, any, any smartphone you've got, you've got the app that will be, that, that will be uh, supported on, on, on that, uh, on that platform. Awesome. I thought that would be the case, but I wanted to put it out there, obviously. Um, I appreciate the detail that you've delivered to us today. We're going to finish up with just a few slides on why someone would want to work with Elevance through Premier Marketing. And part of that is some of the backup material and services that are available to make life easier as an agent. And that includes the electronic contracting process. When we speak to the process for Elevance itself, we're gonna use some things directly with the carrier, but this allows you to create an agent profile and do multiple uh, contracts simply and easily and electronically. The whole process in life is going electronically now, and we have our own selves to blame with our handwriting in a manner of speaking. Um, but anyway, this is there for you. Use it a lot with the ancillary services. Um, when we speak to the uh, the big carriers and the benefits they offer, we usually use a direct electronic link with that organization. We do offer discounted errors and admissions coverage for qualified agents. What makes you a qualified agent? Well, you got a contract with us. And it then gives you the ability to own the policy and take care of yourself and protect yourself financially, regardless of whom you contract through. Premier is a huge organization. We have a ton of carriers. We don't have them all. No one does. Uh, this, however, gives you the opportunity to make certain that you're not just being added for one carrier for a, on a blanket EO policy and you have to worry about the rest. This takes care of you across the board and fills that requirement that insurance carriers have uh, for contracting. We do also offer discounted continuing education bundles through our association with WebCE to help keep your license up and rolling as well and you have an opportunity to add to your own benefit package through a modified guarantee issue disability income program on which you're paid a commission on yourself much as where today's presentation is being recorded uh, past presentations have been as well and they're all posted on our website on a specific page that gives you a video library of past presentations and are also available on our youtube channel so this gives you an opportunity that as you discover different marketing opportunities, working with providers, churches, whatever it happens to be, where we have those specific campaigns and detail available for you, while they're available for you 24 seven, we do some things on a regular basis live, obviously, but it gives you then that repository of past information to help you be successful in different areas as well. I cannot, overestimate underestimate whatever the proper term is here of the availability and the value that comes to you as a uh, partner with premier marketing or one of our integrity part platform partner organizations as well how it gives you that access to medicare center without additional cost well that's an old ma agent talking there isn't it and the vernacular of jj walker on the commercials it's free and what it does is it gives you a a access to multiple quoting engines with a single login. They're powered by Connector, Sunfire, and CSG. It gives you the opportunity to collect that scope of appointment 
to make certain that you're doing things compliantly through a number of different methods of procuring it and storing it for that 10 year period if you sell them or not. Remember that, that's the requirement. Doesn't matter if you sold them or not, outreach is there, you still need to obtain and store that scope. This gives you the capability of doing so. And by doing that, it gives you the opportunity to send out information on different plans that you've discussed with your prospects and clients on a side-by-side -side comparison basis. And that's where programs like Elevance really can shine through because the benefits are just so good. It also includes a, a contact management system, a CRM for you, for your clients. A great way to make certain that you put in the detail about medications in each year. It's a simplification process, other process to do the year over year analysis. Remember, we talked earlier where over 70% of the Medicare population doesn't do this. This makes it simple for you to reach out and contact folks to make certain that your people aren't in that category and you drive up your retention rates in that fashion. It has some other resources there for you too, different sales scripts and things of that nature to make certain that we um, help in the sales process and make it as simple as possible and give you those hints and tips that's necessary to make certain that we uh, accommodate your needs as well. It really bears repeating because it just has a, such a ton of information in there to really make you more effective as an agent manage your time, cut down the windshield time when it's necessary, all those things as part of that complimentary program. And it gives you that opportunity to cross sell as well. Uh, certain programs you can do that listed on the scope of appointment. It also gives you the opportunity to broach that topic on other things that may require that 48 hour cooling off period to, to speak to other programs. So you can fill in the gaps, it does some number of really cool things. There's a page on our website too that lays out all the different incentives that are there for you with offerings for different uh, organizations and programs that are there. Now the max comp for Medicare Advantage and Medicare supplement programs are set by the government. Most of the carriers offer it at the max. So you don't have a lot of incentive work per se there when it comes to additional marketing dollars slash bonus programs. We don't say bonus programs. But those are out there on a singular page so you can make certain that you are receiving all of the information about your compensation and what it entails for you. It also helps you understand it. Well, does that help me qualify for carrier trips or incentive programs that Premier offers? All on a singular page there for you. We do offer also different lead programs, contact call lists. Can't cold call for MA or PDP, but you can for MedSup, you can for final expense, you can for dental programs. Great way of opening the door through the use of other programs and making certain you stay compliant doing it. I alluded to this during the recording section of this presentation, where we have different programs that help you be more effective in community-based marketing programs. We want to make certain that your time and dollars get you the best return possible. So we have some hints and tips on how to do that. Different carriers do generate prospects for you on a periodic basis. It's kind of a quid pro quo situation. You don't go into a new carrier and say, hey, gimme, gimme, gimme. Well, you can. Are you gonna get a lot? Not necessarily. You wanna make certain that you develop that relationship. And that's one of the reasons why we asked Josh to give us a little bit of detail as to the feet on the street with Elevance, because that relationship with those local markets makes the difference. And those are the folks in many cases that will control and direct some of that carrier assistance in your market. We do have internet lead programs through social media, direct mail support, a T65 locator, a referral program that really makes certain that it reminds you to do what you need to do to get referrals. Only about 11% of the agent population gets referrals because they don't ask, we don't ask. It's the whole politically incorrect Pepe Le Pew chasing Penelope to get a kiss. Well, you don't get kissed if you don't ask. This helps walk through that as well. That mail program, well, that deals on a production-based uh, basis where it deeply discounts the cost of direct mail. It makes it easier for you to do so consistently, and you can actually qualify through two different programs, one for the health programs and one for final expense. We work through different 
preferred lead vendors in order to access that discount. And part of that is we want to make certain that they have the software systems to deliver upon uh, the responses as quickly as possible and that the message going out is compliant as well. Keep in mind, we have a, a webinar on direct mail at one o'clock. So some additional details will be available for you there if you're unable to make that. Obviously, the recording to that too will be posted to the websites I alluded to earlier. We do also have access to kind of a fill in the gap situation when it comes to plugging holes in your calendar with an association with one of our partners on never distributed direct mail leads that have come back. So you're not controlling the entire mail program, but you're buying some responses that haven't been touched, still fresh. You'll see that prices will vary and it'll vary by market, by market type. Um, time of year, what type of lead you're looking to purchase. I can tell you from speaking of this for a long time now that that's about as high a price they're listed as I've seen. So they vary and normally uh, are less expensive. The internet lead programs are generated through Facebook. We have a program set in play for final expense and one for Medicare as well. The thing about internet leads, you get a microwave response, they expect a microwave response in return as well. So this is a program that you wanna make certain that you are in touch with that response as quickly as possible. A T65 locator, it's kind of like the program that Josh was talking about that Elevance offers to give you access to information about the programs they offer. This is a program you download to your smartphone or your, or your desktop. Uh, you register off of that, your contracting status is verified and then you have access to this without cost once again jj walker free and it gives you an idea as to where people are geographically we see some folks will actually use this if they're in an area they got three appointments the middle one cancels on them well i'm going to door knock for dental programs or med sup whatever it happens to be keep in mind don't door knock for ma or pdp that's a good way to lose the contract get spanked and set home this, however, gives you an opportunity to identify prospects in an area according to the parameters of a search that you plug into the program. That referral process that I spoke of earlier, it's not only valuable for folks that you're presenting to now. It's not just a sales opportunity. It's an opportunity to go back to your book of business and speak to them about their services, what they need, and elicit referrals in that fashion as well. We do all this because we want your business. We want to work with you with the prime carriers, particularly such as Elevance. We want to be referable to your agent friends through you as well. And in doing so, we urge you to make this part of your personal marketing plan. Yeah, there's a search out on 2023. You're going to see highlights on some of the benefits uh, available to the Medicare population here very shortly. Some carriers are already flashing leg a little bit there. The thing is, as we have alluded to a number of times, you got an 8 one, 9 one, 10 one, 11 one, and 12 one effective date yet. This gives you the opportunity to plug in a premier, and that's not meant as a pun, whatever, but that a key player in your market as part of your marketing program if you haven't already done it, or if you are contracted and not active, a great time to change that as well. And you have the possibility of doing it now. So like John Wayne says in the movie, The Cowboys, slap a piece of bacon in that biscuit, saddle up, let's ride, because we're burning daylight. That's what we're doing now. We're halfway through July. It's something that you can put in play now and take advantage of very, very quickly. So all that said and done, I want to check one more time for questions. I think we've covered them all. You'll get information obviously on this. We're going to go back to sending a specific follow-up to folks that have attended the webinars. So it'll give you all of this, the information that we've discussed today, the different carrier partners, the benefits that are out there, the detail like what Josh has provided for us here today. So all that said and done, for those of you that are on the webinar that we've worked with in the past, well, Premier Marketing and myself, we, we thank you for that business, sincerely. We look to expand upon that relationship, but we wanna be there as a resource for you uh, continuously and in different markets and in different niche markets within our industry. 
For those of you that are considering doing business with us, thank you for that as well. We appreciate the opportunity to be considered as one of your marketing partners, if not the marketing partner for you uh, in your particular area. And of course, since I've talked a lot here again, once again, I wanna thank you for your time. It's your most valuable resource. You're investing it with us here today. I thank you for that. And so I also thank Josh for his contributions today. Thank you, Mr. Manning. We will look forward to speaking with you all in the very near future. And until we're able to do so, I'm gonna wish you a good selling. Thanks so very much. We'll talk to you soon.